Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Mitch Jelnicker with the latest from Denver 7. The man accused of killing a boy and injuring his mom and brother in a suspected road rage shooting will appear in court once again today. Jeremy Webster will stand before a judge for a continuation of last Friday's preliminary hearing. Now Webster is accused of killing 13-year-old Vaughn Bigelow Jr. and injuring his younger brother and mom. Weather is hindering the search for a missing hiker. Crews have been looking for 30-year-old Ryan Albert since Thursday. His car was found right near the trailhead of Longs Peak and Rocky Mountain National Park. If we have any new developments, we will pass them along through our Denver 7 app for you. Fire crews quickly got an attic fire under control in the Baker neighborhood of Denver overnight. Crews were called out to a home right near the intersection of South King and Ellsworth, about 1 this morning. Everyone inside did get out safely. Now for the First Alert Weather Center, here's Lisa with your forecast. Yeah, and another day that looks a lot like yesterday. We're starting off with quite a bit of cloud cover. The roads have been damp to wet in spots, and the mountains picked up a little light snow, so it's beautiful as you head west. Chilly this morning, and by this afternoon, we're only going to see highs in the upper 30s to low 40s, so not much of a warm-up. And you can see more showers, especially off to the east of I-25 this afternoon. A light rain-snow mix possible today, and then tonight we've got another little wave that could bring with it some wet weather for the early morning drive tomorrow. It's going to get even colder tomorrow morning. We should see some upper 20s to low 30s early Wednesday. So another freeze warning has been issued for tonight into early tomorrow morning. So we're still under a first or a alert action day. Thursday and Friday, things will start to warm up a bit. Uh, quite Not quite as chilly Thursday. And then by Friday, it gets warmer. We should be at about 60 degrees to end the week. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back. We'll have another update a little later in the day. And then download the Denver 7 app. That way you get those breaking news alerts. I'm Mitch Jonlicker.